What's up guys? If you're a regular watcher of this channel, then we're going to be doing something a little different uh, tonight. We're going to be uh, not just doing the beer. Crap, I need my glass. But uh, we're going to be making something else. With these mother liquors. Lemons. We're going to be making some Italian limoncello. So, you can go on the internet. You can find lots of videos. You're going to find cool stories of uh, my Italian grandmother gave me this recipe and I've watched a number of these videos and um, they're basically all the same. They involve peeling some lemons, letting them sit, sit in a uh, high alcohol uh, grain neutral spirit type thing or vodka but if you can get the higher alcohol stuff it's, it's better. And then adding a simple sugar solution of water and sugar to that product and then bottling it. And what you get, this is the stuff I made last year, is a kind of a hazy, strong, lemony, and sweet uh, drink. Whew that you keep in the freezer uh, and you just have a little bit like this oh baby it's so good everybody that I have shared this with says wow that is good that is really something else so I just thought I would show you guys how to make it it's very simple um, it's a little bit of time these lemons cost me five dollars this cost me like nineteen twenty dollars and what you're going to do is, this is a liter, but I'm going to end up with two liters when it's all done. So, two liters of this type of stuff for uh, $20, $25 is a, is a pretty good deal, and it's just fun to make it at home. So, sit back and uh, we'll see if we can make some good limoncello again. As far as ingredients for the first day, you're going to need some sort of grain spirits. You can see this stuff is 190 proof, so it's 95% alcohol. I have a liter. And here are my lemons. Uh, and this time it looks like I ended up with uh, Citron's Biologique uh, Organic Lemons. Uh, Sunkissed, it looks like. I have two pounds uh, of these, and uh, that's what we're going to start with today. Alright, so one word about the lemons is. Um, you know, you can buy whatever kind of lemon you want, but um, I believe that, and I'm not an expert on this, but I think a lot of lemons are grown with different types of uh, pesticides and treatments like that, and I think a lot of that stuff ends up in the skin. So if you're eating it, eating the lemon and not worried about the skin, then it probably doesn't matter. However, in this case, it's the skin that's entirely what you want. So that's why I just did the organic ones. Last year I did this same process. That's the stuff that you saw me pour out a sample of. Turned out great. So I'm just doing that process. Um, I was able to buy these two pound bags. If you were in some part of the country or world where you could get to a lemon tree, you know, a friend's lemon tree or something, that would be probably even better. So these ones don't have very thick skins. So when you're doing this, peeling you, you're gonna you're trying not to get a lot of the white you know and I'm getting some of the white but really you're just getting you just want to get the lemon flavor ideally you're not gonna get a lot of the white but these peelings are a little bit thinner so it's kind of harder so you know I just do about like that and uh, you know collect all these and then all this stuff is gonna go on this jug so basically you just gotta sit here and peel a bunch of lemons this is a you know an average peeler it's just anything like this you could probably do it with a knife but I like this so this is the hardest part of the whole thing is doing this and that's part of the process all right I got all these things zested and I'm putting the peelings in here got a few more to go uh, a couple of things here, all the videos I've seen, people talk about leaving uh, the lemon peels on the alcohol for 20 days 
I've seen people do a month, I've heard somebody say 40 days, so basically three to four to five weeks. Um, I think I did it a month last year, so that's probably what I'll do this year. Another thing that is mentioned is every couple days or whenever you think about it, um, grab, the, grab the jar and swirl it as it's just sitting in a cool, dark place. So, there you go. There is the rest of the booze. Basically, I'm just about done for tonight. Um, as far as this goes. What I'm going to do with the lemons, I did this last year and it worked out pretty slick is I'm gonna cut these in half and I have like a juice presser thing. I'm gonna collect all the lemon juice and then I'm gonna put it in uh, ice cube trays, let it freeze and then just put all those cubes of lemon juice in a baggie and leave it in the freezer so then you have some uh, lemon juice when you need it. Um, so yeah, I'll do a final shot of this uh, sitting in the closet, but that's it for the first part. And you just gotta wait a month. So here is my preferred cool dark storage aging area, also fermentation chamber. I have the beer going right here. Actually, I wonder how that puppy's doing here. It's got to be 66 degrees. Huh? It's just about done. It's uh, had quite a bit, a little bit of blow off activity, but anyway, there as it is on the initial first day. Um. You know, pretty clear right now, still. Um, I put an airlock on here, but you don't really need one, I don't think. I mean, if I had a screw-on cap, it'd probably be okay, or even, like, foil and a rubber band. But I have an airlock, so... Yep, here we go, day one, and uh, keep swirling it and check on it every few days. It has been one month, or more precisely, four weeks since I did those steps. As you can see, we have some yellow liquid, and hopefully the peels will be somewhat uh, white. I'm going to give a try to this zombie dust that I got yesterday from Tyson in another video I did on a care package I got from a guy named Tyson. The first step for the bottling process, I have three cups of sugar, and I do four cups. So that is uh, a quart of water and as you recall these bottles are one quart so it's going to give me hopefully about two quarts. I'm just going to stir this sugar into this uh, boiling water and then boil it for 10 minutes. Alright so that's boiling, just started boiling. I set the timer for 10 minutes. What I use for this is this is a double mesh strainer and I put a hot bag on the top. Also a note is uh, if you're a brewer and you're used to sanitizing things, I'm not going to sanitize this stuff. I've got my bottling bucket, so to speak, my tubing, my bottle filler. Um, this stuff is 95% alcohol right now. After this whole process is done, it's going to be 42.5% alcohol, give or take. I'm not worried about anything surviving or causing any problem. But your mileage may vary. Go ahead and sanitize if you want to. But we gotta get the. Oh, look at that! It's nice and yellow. We gotta get the green alcohol off of the lemon peels. I suppose you could siphon this too, but again, I'm not worried about oxidation at this point so it looks like I'm gonna have to do a little work here what I'm gonna do is get all these lemon peels on the top of here so they can all drain as much of this stuff out as possible that is boiling here's all the lemon peels they're not white I don't know if they would ever get white I know when I've left raspberries in something for a long time a beer they'll get white but um they're crispy I've noticed kind of interesting 
But, uh, I mean, that's pretty yellow color and it smells lemony. I've got cat fights going on. Uh, the zombie dust, pretty delicious. I think I've had it. I know I've had it. Um, I'm assuming it's just like a really big IPA. It's kind of dank smelling. Mmm, and it's good. There's a date on here, which I assume is bottled on. September 10th, it's October 23rd today, so not too bad for some of those beers, but uh, next thing to do is we'll be uh, cooling this down just a little bit. I'm not even going to worry about temperatures, but I just figured maybe I wouldn't put the boiling simple sugar solution uh, into my, you know, collected uh, lemon alcohol. So, I just put some ice in there. You guys have all done this stuff whenever you do yeast starters or cool down a batch beer in the sink. So, I'm just going to cool this down a little bit just to bring the temperature down. Alright, I cooled this down a little bit. Hopefully this will go alright. I don't know where to stand. I'm just going to block your view here for a sec. That is... I could tell it was a little thick because it's uh, three cups of sugar and four cups of water. So, Alright, so... Give it the old college stir. I'm not really worried about, I'm not trying to aerate, of course I just splashed that in there, but again, I'm not really worried about that. That's more of a concern if you fermented something and uh, you don't want to oxidize it. I don't think that's really a problem with this kind of stuff. You can siphon it in if you want to. Ooh, we got more kitty playing. Alright, so that is stirred. Call that stirred up, maybe one more swoosh. And, uh, let's bottle it. Got one bottle filled. Sorry I didn't get it on camera. I was having some trouble with the uh, siphon, but I got one more to go. And I've I gotta get it higher than the top here, and I've but then the tube gets comes out of the thing and I'm just having a little trouble today. We'll finish it off. Ooh, it is strong. Um, definitely I love this stuff cold. I think in the beginning I took some from my one that was in the freezer and that's really the way, way to drink this stuff. Plus, it will mellow slightly. Um, it's still 40 some percent alcohol. Uh, but yeah, pretty harsh. So, we're coming up here. I don't know, I'm interesting. Maybe I won't get two bottles out of this deal. Is that even rolling? Oh, it stopped again. Alright, well let me get this finished off and then I'll do a wrap up. So I managed to get the rest of it in there. Sorry about the snafu on the bottling. It's not usually a problem. It's just a little bit different when you're dealing with this kind of ghetto operation. But if you are a brewer, you know how to bottle and you can figure it out. Anyway, you can see I got about two liters, maybe just under, but uh, close enough. And uh, these puppies, one of those puppies will go uh, into the freezer directly and the other one will probably just go in the storage area. And uh, yeah, I've made it about a year ago and I still have a little bit of that left so I kind of just sip on it occasionally so two liters lasted me a year. but. Uh, Hope you liked the video. Give it a try sometime. It's a pretty fun thing to have a sip on every now and then, and I'll catch you later.